freshly cut sodium is placed into a glass deflagrating spoon. The metal is melted by using a butane torch. The metal ignites and burns very vigorously in the gas. A characteristic yellow colour is seen in the flame. Sodium is able to produce a number of oxides, which include sodium peroxide as well as sodium oxide itself. Aluminium is an amphoteric metal. It reacts with both acids and alkalis. On the left is an aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide. And on the right is dilute hydrochloric acid. Both reactions produce hydrogen. Phosphorus is a non-metal which is very reactive. You get it in two forms. We have red phosphorus here. You can also get white phosphorus. White phosphorus is very dangerous because it ignites spontaneously in air. So it has to be stored under water. We're going to take some of this red phosphorus and ignite it using the deflagrating spoon and the Bunsen burner. Once it has ignited, we'll plunge it into the oxygen jar. Notice the colour of flame that it burns with. It's a bright white flame. And that forms phosphorus pent oxide.